All right, we're back here uh, in the studio and we're gonna go over a couple of things now that uh, will show you how to get sharp shots and they're things that you might take along with you. One of the things that I said that you're gonna need is a tripod if you wanna get really sharp shots, especially in low light situations uh, or for landscapes and such. All right, but a tripod isn't always feasible to carry with you. And that's why we have these. These are called, this is called a monopod. It's made by Manfrotto or Manfrotto, however you wanna pronounce it. And uh, I think I picked this one up for about 35 bucks. Uh, definitely not the most expensive, but certainly not the cheapest either. Um, you can get these for even as little as 15 or $20. And what these do is they've got these legs that extend, just like a tripod does. And you can lock them into place. And then now I can set this on the ground. And using my little screw hole on the bottom of my camera, I can screw my camera onto my monopod. Okay, just like you would on a tripod. And I have it set in place, and now I've got a stable platform that I can keep my camera on. You see sports shooters use this a lot. They put them, uh, they mount their long lenses to them, and uh, uh, they use them for shooting because it's very stable. They're not having to hold this big lens up. But where these are really advantageous is, say you're walking around at a museum, and a lot of times you go places like that and they won't let you set up a tripod because of the liability risks. You know, somebody trips over a leg of your tripod, they fall and get hurt, next thing you know, they're suing the museum. So they won't say no to monopods. And the reason being is because you can keep it so close to your body. You know, nobody's really gonna be walking up this close to you because they're gonna be in your personal space anyway. So you can keep your monopod close, out of the way. And most of the time, the rules for museums and stuff say absolutely nothing about monopods, but they will say no tripods allowed, okay? So again, a really simple solution that's very inexpensive to help you get great shots. And of course, if you're shooting sports, you're definitely gonna want one of these, uh, especially you get to night games, uh, low light, and you're definitely gonna need it to help get sharp shots so you're not trying to handhold your longer lenses, okay? So that's a monopod. Again, this one was about 35 bucks. You can find them in that price range, even as little as $20, okay? And because of the flexibility, I can also mount a ball head on here, just like I would on a tripod. So if I wanna be able to maneuver my camera and not just shoot, um, you know, landscape orientation with my camera, I can do that. Okay, this other thing that I'm gonna talk about, this is a Joby Gorilla Pod. And these are uh, a little miniature tripod with little flexible legs that come out like this, and I can set it up and support my camera with it. Okay, these are really great for traveling. Um, they're great when you go someplace and you wanna set it on the hood of a car, or you wanna set it on a fence, or something like that. But because of these flexible legs, I can wrap it around stuff. I can wrap it around a tree branch. I can wrap it around a uh, chain link fence, anything, and give my camera a nice stable platform. And again, because of the way that it's set up with this uh, threaded screw right here, I can put a mono, or not a monopod, I can put a ball head on it. So I get a lot of flexibility. These things uh, average, I think this particular model was around 35 or $40. They make them that are $20 and they make them as much that are you know, $65 or $70 for a bigger one that supports more weight. But a uh, great little thing to have in your bag, it's small and light, just like the monopod, very small, easily fits into a bag, a backpack, camera bag, whatever, and help you take sharp shots, all right? All right, well that's it for this episode. I appreciate you uh, hanging out with us and uh, checking out what we have to offer. Don't forget, you can uh, visit us on the web at www.thedslrworkshop.com. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash the DSLR workshop and become a friend on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the DSLR workshop. All right. Hope you have a great week. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, don't forget to uh, check out our iTunes podcast where you can subscribe to us and uh, get the episodes automatically every week. All right. Have a great day. Take care.